Hi folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. It's turned late fall here, starting to cool off, get cold. One of my least favorite times of the year. Why is that? Well, it's time to put the soft top on the M715. So uh, summer cruise season's well over. Uh, running around topless is done for for the season. So in this episode, we're gonna show you how to put the soft top and the soft top frame and get everything mounted up, get the door windows back in and uh, get this truck sealed back up for the winter. So just in case we do drive it in the fall here, late fall, early winter, um, take it to maybe a parade or something like that. We'll at least have some cabin closure and have a little bit of heat and warmth. So that's what's coming up. So stay tuned, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate every little bit of it. Thanks and enjoy. All right, folks, as we get ready to put the soft top on, one of the first pieces we're going to be putting on is going to be the supports that go on the sides. Uh, there's two bolts and one bolt up at the windshield. So we're going to go ahead, get these two bolts out. Position, get the two bolts back in. Let's get those spin down finger tight. After we got those two bolts finger tight, we'll use we'll take out the bolt here at the front. Line it up and get it started. Now we'll go ahead and tighten this one up. Now with the front one tightened up, now we can go back and tighten these two rear ones. And of course, by not tightening those two rear ones first, that gave us the adjustability to help get everything lined up, get that one tightened up first, and then pull these back in, which pulls it all back into position. So this side's done. We'll go around, we'll do the other side now. Okay, folks, we'll do this one the same exact way. Two rear bolts out. <laughs> All right, finger tight these bolts. And then line up the front one. Now we'll go ahead, tighten this front bolt up.
All right, with the two side supports on, now it's time to put the bows up and across. Both those are down nice and tight. So next we'll move on to the front cozy wings. All right, so these are gonna fit down in the track here through the door. And there's a couple screws. Hold it all in. All right, now the fun and tricky part. So you have a channel towards the front and a channel towards the back. And sometimes it's easier to roll the window up just a little bit because you are gonna have this channel going down through the window. Go ahead and start it on the window. All right, let's try that again. So we're gonna line it up. And all the way in, finally. Whew. Get our screws started back in. It's one of the things we're not going to do right away is run these screws in all the way tight. So we're gonna get them in nice and snug. And then there is some adjustment so that we can get a good seal here on the door. So we wanna Shut the door, and if you see, so we're cocked back just a little bit. So we're gonna adjust that forward. That gives us a nice good seal. So now we'll tighten it up in that position. Should lock us into a nice position. And when we roll the window up, should give us a good seal all the way around. So one side in, we'll flop around and do the other side next. Okay, we're going to go ahead and repeat now for this side. So one of the difficult pieces is getting that 
to go into the window channel. So it takes a little finesse to jack it in there. Just like the other side, we're going to go ahead and shut the door and adjust our angles. Right. Now tighten it all down. Roll the window up, shut the door, have a nice seal all the way around. So one more step down. Okay folks, now to the fun part, putting the actual top on. Now that we have all the, the windows and the frame in, so now it's time for the window or to put the soft top on uh, while I was doing all this hardware I did have the top sitting out in the Sun uh, the Sun helps relax the canvas a little bit makes it a little easier to stretch into place uh, makes it a little easier flexible to work with so uh, we're gonna start it's got a channel and a, that fits in across here so we got a rope braid that'll slide in and across so the easiest way to start is to actually just lay the top out across the hood and then get up in the truck. Start tucking that in the channel and sliding it across. Once you have it across, you just gonna flip the top up and over. Snap it at the corners here. Now the next thing we're going to do, the three cent straps across the back.
So now it's top in position. All we have to left to do is run the snaps up the sides here. So you got five snaps across the top, three down the side. Now, one of the things that makes it a little easier, I always find, just pull that gasket right down and out of the way. It kind of gets it out of the way, makes it a little easier. Work your way around the snaps. Put that leather strip back up. All right. So, all we gotta do is snap the other side, and we have, we're gonna have the top all buttoned up, all ready for uh, some colder weather. So. Uh, we're not looking forward to colder weather because that means we don't get to run the vehicles as much. But uh, if we do take it out for a nice fall evening or something like that, fall afternoon, we'll at least have the top on, be able to run the heater, have a little bit of warmth. So, all right, thanks for stopping in. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this episode of Green Iron TV. We're we got the soft top, soft top frame, windows, and all that reinstalled back into the M715. Uh, now we have it all prepared up for colder weather. Unfortunately, here in Michigan, that is one of the things that we have to live with is some colder weather. But uh, we're all buttoned up and ready. So this top, by the way, uh, came from Weeby Webbing. Uh, I'll post a link to their website down in the comments below. Um, and this top has been a phenomenal top. It's actually, I've had it since uh, 2004 when I did the restoration on this vehicle. Uh, it's holding up extremely well and uh, still looks just as good as the day we got it. So uh, I want to thank the folks at Weavey Webbing for doing such a fantastic job on these tops. So uh, like always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, because every little bit helps and we appreciate every little bit of that. So. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for more episodes on Green Iron TV.